Hello guys, it's Paula, and we are going to do a page in the Altered book. Uh, I hope you're having a great weekend. We've had a very busy, busy weekend. So I'm, I'm feeling lavender today. How does that sound? Um, I have this really pretty paper, and let me see who it's by. And of course, it's not written on there. I'll find out, and I'll put it in the link below. Um, okay. I wish everyone would put on each paper, even if it's just on the very, very edge, what their business name is, so that it makes the people who are trying to, to um, talk about their stuff have some way of sharing who they are. Okay, so I'm just going to start... I thought I'd just trim off all these edges first, and then we can go from there. So, we have been huh, busy getting our bathroom. You know, they finished it on Thursday, except for the uh, where the wood floor was cut out, and that's going to be fixed on I believe Thursday and um, anyway man talk about mess my house is filthy from all the dust you know because they tore out they f spent the first day just tearing the bathroom apart <laughs> you know they did demo as the guy on fixer up says they spent the whole day doing demo, only it didn't sound as violent <laughs> as Chip would have it sound. Okay, so I'm thinking that we'll just bring this on here. I like this paper a lot, but I want to, I want to put it up here and then kind of see where we need to tear it, right there. Cause I don't want it to go all the way down into the the spine area but look at those cool eggs is that not neat I just think it's neat 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 and who has ever seen uh, purple birds not I they're not really purple they're just surrounded by a lot of splatters of purple they're actually black purple <laughs> I guess. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is take the other page. I have two copies of this page. And I think what I'm going to do is take this bottom portion and just continue it down. Do you know what I'm saying? And so let's tear that side right there. And then we'll tear the section across the bottom. You guys get what I'm saying? <clears throat> We're just gonna tear this bottom section off. Let me get on the table. I wanna make sure you guys are able to see. I'm gonna have to rearrange how I do my table. Uh, I feel like it's kind of limiting. The camera is not is more to the right, and I want to get that where it needs to be. Okay, so that's the wrong piece of paper. I'm like, why does that not have eggs on it? Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to tear it the same size here because right down through here because I want it to kind of look like it's just one piece. You know, I know we've been like mixing and matching and all that jazz, but okay, so this part's gonna be right here. I love this color. And I love, I just love the whole, everything about it. It's beautiful. Um, and then here we're going to go underneath and see how much we need. We don't need that much. We're not going to lose this bird, though. So I'm going to go like this. 
put this over to the side. And I thought, let me make sure we're, okay. I thought we would take um, this and put down here and, and then we'll glue this over the top. And see, it will just look like we're kind of running down through there. Now, we know it's not a perfect match, but it's not a bad match, right? Okay, so right there is where we're going to put that. And I'm going to move all my garbage over here. Garbage. All my goodies over here. And I'll probably have to um, get some more glue before it's over or we might get through this one I tell you we've used a lot of glue doing this book I don't know how many but uh, it's been a lot because I'm already halfway through the one I just bought but this takes a lot of glue and I'm not complaining I think it's been a lot of fun it's been worth it and anyway so my husband and I got up this morning it was quite a task for me, not getting up. I mean, I'd get up fine, but I'm talking about uh, getting up, getting dressed, and being out of the house, you know, by 9 o'clock or something like that. But mostly because of my hip. It, man, I'll tell you right now, you can't move fast with with the hip problem I've got. I'll just say it to you like this. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> it is so painful. But I um, I don't have a surgery date yet. So I have to wait until the 19th of August to get a surgery date. And I haven't told you guys, but I have another procedure that was already scheduled. And that is in September, so I, I expect to be a new person when this is all over. So, anyway, and hopefully I can do away with a lot of steroid injections and, oh my goodness, because my poor old body. But you know what? I'm not going to let it get me down. Okay, so I'm sure everybody has their aches and pains, right? And that's just life. Um, so we're counting down to my daughter's uh, performance. Opening night is on August the 9th. So... We're going to go to the opening night, and um, we're excited to see our sweetheart up there again. It's been a long time, and we're so proud of her. She's accomplished so much in her life, and and we, we love that um, she's getting to do something that she loves so much. Okay, so we're going to... Try to keep this bird right here is my goal. We have a pocket over here. And um, I want to try. I don't want to cut his head off. I'll cut his tail off first. But I don't want him to have to be like down in the, down in the valley. Okay, so I'm going to tear... Oops, I said I am. I'm going to tear this inside part off first because I don't I don't want to. Uh, there we go. I think that would be better. If you haven't done it all, if you're out and you're watching this, you're out there and you're watching this video, I want to tell you that one of the most fun things I've ever done are these videos. Um, basically, there's no, um, other way to say it. They are, it is so much fun to decorate these pages. 
you know, some people have what they call glue books. Some people have what they have, you know, whatever. But I like doing this book a lot. And if you haven't started one, you need to print you off some digitals and go after it because it is a lot of fun. Now, I'm going to do the same thing over here and just bring, carry this down. That's a good idea, huh? Or, give me a minute, or we can do another bird down here and some eggs. Let's just see what this looks like if we tear it out and stick it on there. How's that? Okay, so let me, I'm thinking. Okay, so let's do like this. If I can keep this part under here, it just keeps sliding on me because it's on the ragged edge. Okay, so put this one here. And come over here and put this little bird down here. Yeah, we're going to have just the right amount of space. So what I'll do is I will cut this about like the size of this one. So we're going to put that right there. And then I'll decide which piece I'm going to use. Whether I'm going to use this, this on the top or this underneath. Because I don't want them to look identical. But I like that the bird is there. So let's see. If I tear some of this off. Let's do that. Let's tear off this big word. And tear off this portion here. Okay. Now, now we should be able to figure out what we want to do. Now, I know this is the same bird as next door, but I like as many birds in here as we can. It's not like we can add purple birds to this page, right? All right, so let's add this one down first. Now, I am going to tear off some of this because I don't want to give up those scraps. But let's glue this portion down first, okay? I might see if we have any other kind of birds we want to add. But um, I really like this paper and I couldn't resist. I was like, oh my goodness. I know we've done one other bird page that uh, this person designed. I don't remember who it was, but I'll look it up and let my husband know. Okay, so now we're going to put this top portion on. So I'm working, I've been working on the book. I have not had time to do crafting over the weekend until a little bit today. Not much. Um, my husband just finished painting the bathroom and he's waiting for it to dry. And like I was saying, we got up early this morning and went to the the home store, you know, where like Home Depot, Lowe's, that kind of place. Um, and got a new light fixture for above the sink. And the reason we did, there was nothing wrong with the one we had, but it's brown. You know, when you have those brown fixtures and I forget what it's called. I know it has a name, but um so we didn't we didn't we had chrome in the bathtub. Like I told you guys there was no change in that. That's the only thing it comes in is chrome. And that's okay. I guess they figure by the time you're old enough to use it you won't really care. I'm thinking I don't like the words right there. So, I'm thinking, what am I going to do to change that? What do you guys suggest? Maybe cover cover up the... No. 
I like this portion. I just don't like, I don't like the eggs down there. They look weird. So let's see what we can do here. You guys are probably thinking I'm crazy, but there's a big line. And I think probably what would be best is to tear rather than use my ruler to tear. That way it doesn't look so even. Do you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, we'll see what this looks like. I think we'll like it better. You know, this kind of collaging is not like what, exactly like what you do on um, um, your, you know, like your little embellishments and stuff. This takes, you know, I like that better. Okay, now, it just takes more big pieces, you know, because it's really just covering the pages and decorating the pages is what it amounts to. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink right here while I'm thinking about it. Let's see, we didn't look back on the last one we did, which is right here, where we used my old quilt piece and Gail's lace right there, and then I fussy cut birds. And we didn't have anything for the inside, so I made this big tag. Yeah, and so that side got inked and it's it survived it. Okay, so here, I love the way that looks. And I found one piece of paper that had lavender on it. And it's right here. The only thing is it, it's not gonna go under there without me trimming. It's a different la lavender, but the flowers are lavender. So we're just gonna go for it because I think it will look good. Even though it doesn't have the same color background, it that doesn't bug me, doesn't bug me at all. So, I'm thinking in my brain though, what are we gonna decorate this with? Well, I think we need to decorate it with maybe some flowers because um, surely I've got some purple flowers somewhere. Wouldn't you think? I would think I do, but we'll see. Okay, so we want to get this under here. I love doing like, kind of like lining a drawer, you know, before you fill it full of goodies. That's what this makes me think of. Okay, so here, let me go like this. I'm just gonna tear it right here. And we pretty much good to go on that. So we do want to take a little bit of a little piece out like I always do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And that's okay. We're gonna make it work the best we can. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about the shipping thing with Etsy. So I'm just saying right here and now that I did change it over to no shipping in the US, but after the things that are on there are sold, it's gonna go back the way it was because what they're wanting us to do is basically charge more for the item so that the client thinks they're getting a better deal. That's what they're doing. Etsy is expecting the seller to give up whatever money would be for shipping, but they're not giving up anything. So I, you know, I've had mixed feelings about it. I know I'm not the only one that has felt that way. I know you've probably heard it on other channels, 
but it's not fair to us to do that. So I will tell you that I'm working on a website um, that I can do whatever I want from. Now I will always keep my Etsy store and um, so forth, but I just, what I'm telling you is, I think I didn't get that quite short enough. Um, what happens is Etsy, when people type in, this is supposedly what's gonna happen. When people type in and do a search for junk journals, if you accept shipping, no shipping, uh, if you pay for the shipping, they will put you at the top of the totem pole. Well, you know, we haven't been at the top of the po totem pole anyway. I've never, ever shown up on there. And I heard Gail say she hadn't and um, a lot of others. So, I am still thinking on what's going to happen with that. But I just wanted to let you know, right now, everything in my shop is no shipping i did not raise the prices so that's only in the u.s which i'm sorry but that's how they set it up i had to wet wet my whistle okay so now what are we gonna do there's no plan after this so i'm thinking let's see what kind of flowers we got cut out to go with the birds. We don't want to put more flowers, so we'll just put um, flowers. I wish you'd look at this box of flowers, you guys. I have have fussy cut most of this. There's a few things in here that I did not, but I'm looking for lavender and different things that will go with the color scheme. Now that would go, I'd have to ink it some. Um, I, I like the way that looks. Let's see what else I got. So basically, I'm just going for lavender. It doesn't matter what kind of flower it is or anything. Ooh, that's pretty. That might look pretty right there, but I really don't want to put anything there because it gets covered up, you know? So, I think I like that better than this other one. We're not going to have room for a lot. Let's see. Ooh, here's another pretty one. I kind of like the tall because it goes all the way up in there. See, that would cover up my bird. My bird. Okay, so I'm going to ink around this flower a little bit. And um, kind of take the, the stark white off of it. Because it, it, you know, it does have a white border. I don't know why I thought I needed to leave white borders. But I did... On some and I didn't on others but I'm not gonna re fussy cut this <laughs> oh gosh I have been fussy cutting since I started buying digitals you know I have a tendency to buy everything that's beautiful and I have way more than I'll ever use but that's okay that's the way I like it now it's showing this like this to be flat right there and to kind of lean over? Or do we want it straight? If we do it straight, we're gonna have to straighten this bottom because you can tell it's, it's the wrong way. I just don't want it leaning into, so that just looks weird to me, crooked. So, let me move this out of the way. So I have some space here. So you guys can see what's going on. I'm going to set this right there. And we are going to glue this down. Wait a minute. I was going to decide, wasn't I? Okay. Just barely are going to be out of the bird's beak. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this straight. Like that. 
That way it doesn't look so weird. Okay, now let's flip it over and let's put it to work in this book, on this page. This was taken out of some kind of floral book, I can't remember. I bought some and I've fussy cut more than I've bought. So, I did buy some when I first started. I bought some from an Etsy shop. I don't, I couldn't tell you who it is now. I'm sorry. But, um, let's put it like that. I don't want to get in his face. There. I like the way that turned out. We might have to trim this a little bit right here. We might have time. We're going to have time to do a second page. Before we do, though, I want to see. We got to make something to put in the pocket. Let me see what lavender things I've got right here. Where did they go? I had some lavender things here a little bit ago. Here's one that says Paris. That would be pretty to put on like a some kind of card or something. Oh, look how cute that is. But I think instead I can do this or this. I think that's too light. I think this looks better on this. It's kind of got like a text writing or do we like this one that says Paris? We're not really doing anything with Paris, but I think I like it the best. So let's get a, in the background, we want to get a, oh, where'd they go? A text paper. Let's see if it's big enough. Oh, just barely. Let me see if I have a bigger one. I've got stuff going everywhere over here. I'm sorry. Let me get it. Got my book over here that I'm working on. And then I just, you know, have had stuff piled up all day. Or the little bit of time I've been in here. Now here is this. It's much bigger. But let's see. Will it fit in here? Yeah, it will. So what we'll do, instead of doing another page, let's do this embellishment here. Now I'm not gonna make it quite that big. I think that looks a little bit too much. So let's do about like that. Where's my ruler? I don't want it to be perfectly straight. So we're gonna tear it instead. I love how when you make, when you have these and you make them up, I just love the whole shaggy look. You know, it just, I love it. So I thought, I'm gonna put this out of the way. So I thought what we would do is, this looks like it's already been inked, but let's ink it just a little bit more. Maybe I was gonna use it before and I just forgot. This is really pretty. I don't remember where in the world I got that. But I want to put some stuff behind it. I don't want it to look, um, I don't want it to look like it's, how about this behind it? Would be chopping off our, our buddy's head, but I could put something up there to replace that. So that wouldn't be a problem, right? So let's just tear. How about we just tear, tear, tear. There, you can't even tell it's a bird. Okay, now, let's go over here. I'd rather it have a teared look on here 
a super teared look because it looks more handmade. The only reason I don't tear for the book pages is because it takes forever. And I just feel like we could be doing other things. You know, instead of taking forever on the book pages. Yeah, I like that. Do you guys like that? I'm going to trust and have faith that you do. And we're going to put that on here. I think I need to change this paper, though, because it is nasty. Ooh. Okay, so how about tear it out and fold it in half? Yeah, this is a, a poetry book that is got some of the weirdest poems in it. I said, I'm not putting those in my book. So I just started using it as a glue book. Okay. So my husband is terribly exhausted. He's been working on that room since he since yesterday morning. And um, didn't really get to start painting until today. So also, just so you guys know, I don't know if I told you guys this or not. So everything has to be in chrome, right? Well, I'm one of these people that I can't have um, one thing be chrome and nothing else be chrome. And usually I will go where everything has to be chrome. Even though all of our doorknobs are not chrome, um, they the bathroom one is going to have chrome fixtures, which it has. It's going to have, I has a chrome soap dish. I have a little stand that I'm putting at the head of it or at the back of it that has all the shampoo and soaps and stuff. And it's chrome. I'm sorry, I got it at Tuesday morning for eight dollars. I couldn't pass it up. And um, and then I'll put this on there now. But wait, do we want to put some? I'm looking to see if we want to put something under that. But it will just make this book so much bulk, more bulky. Let's don't. I think we're getting to the point we can't close it. Anyway, so, um, and then the towel rack and the towel. Well, actually, I didn't buy a towel rack. I decided, you guys are going to crack up. I went to the antique place today, and I decided that I wanted to find a shelf to put on the back of the toilet. And so I found a little cupboard, a cupboard that used to be, it's old, okay? But the glass is all still good on it. And so it is so cute and it sits right on the back of the toilet. But while I was there, I found this kind of oval half moon thing that you put on the wall. And you guys are going to know exactly what I'm talking about when I tell you this. It's usually on your patio wall. And they put plants in them, and it kind of goes, you know, just kind of goes like that. And um, and then it just looks like, looks like just little um, metal poles, but they're really small. I mean, you have to see it. It's really cute. But it's going to go like that, and I'm going to roll my towels and put my towels in that, and it's going to hang right above... Um, Right above that, I think it'll look really adorable. And if you guys saw it, you would agree. I mean, you would think so, too. It's just uh, different. It's just way different. I'm getting some lace here as we speak. I got to find the right piece. I want to put a little bit on here, but I'm not going to put a lot. I'm just going to trim some of this. Not super wide, but... Um, and maybe we can stick some across one side. Maybe this side that's going to be sticking out here. I just, I felt like it was too plain. Um, anyway, so I did that. I'm going to paint both of them a fresh coat of paint because they're pretty grungy, you know. 
So I got both of those at the antique shop while he was painting today because I just couldn't settle for, um, I think I like it like that. Couldn't settle for, you know, the wall not having something there. And I have a painting I did in my bathroom um, a long time ago. And it's and it matches my shower curtain. I got my shower curtain when we built our home. Um, this particular home was our retirement home that we're in now. But it, you know, it's small compared to what we've ever had before. We came from a 3,400 square foot home to 18. Yeah, just barely. It's right under 18, actually. Now, this has got blue glue, but it will dry clear. Um, anyway, so I got a glass doorknob. It has chrome that attaches it to the door, but it has, it's a glass doorknob. And um, then I have, um, I'm putting two little glass knobs that match the door on to the cabinets below the sink. And there's only two, and it's really small, very small room. So I'm going to pull curtains back. It is a bathtub. It does have a shower head. But I've decided, you know, I don't want any wild showers going on in there. Just rinse your hair or your body, you know. But um, so I'm going to, I'm putting a little small chandelier, very small chandelier that just kind of hangs down in between the curtains being pulled back. And um, I really like my shower curtain because, you know, it looks good with the painting. And look at this, how cute that turned out. Isn't it funny how you can just come up with something in a matter of seconds and it looks good. Okay. I don't even think I'm going to stitch this one. I think I think it looks good not stitched. I may change my mind if it tries to come apart. You know how some stuff does. Anyway, so I got new chrome faucets for the sink and a towel rack. Just one of those circle racks to put your hand towel on. Oh, we got to do the back. We got to do the back. Let me get some solid, I surely have some solid pages. Let me get those. Sorry, but I didn't know I was going to go this direction. Or I would have had it ready already. Had it ready already? That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I'm just going to find some book pages that have solid backs or has room on the back to cover that. Let me find one first. I've got a bunch right here. Excuse me for being off camera, but I am looking for that and it's not something you would be interested in doing, I can assure you. Uh, if I, I wanna make it where it can be journaled on, but you know, I'm gonna come over this way so you can see with me what I'm doing. I'm basically just going through some book pages that I've torn out of this book. Because a lot of times you'll run up on sections of books that are just white. This is how I do it. Why waste all your tea stain paper when you can have this? <laughs> See, this will work perfect on the back of there. And this is how I do it when I have it. I don't always have it and I end up using tea stain paper, but I'm putting this back and everything's falling out. I'm sorry, I'll just leave it there for now. Okay, so we're gonna glue this onto here. And I'm putting some new, um, I'm also gonna put some new chrome, a uh, chrome hooks on the back of the door because we did get a new door the reason we got a new door was because, uh, let me see if that looks right. I want to make sure that part's covered up. Let's do it like this. We um, got a new door because 
it was the door we had wasn't wide enough to get the tub in because the tub is massive, you know. Anyway, <clears throat> so it's what we did this morning when we went chrome shopping is what I call it. I had to change my shower rod because that's what's going to actually hold my curtains and I'm going to pull them back. We'll just have to see. I may make some changes if something doesn't work just like I want it to, you know. Okay, so let's turn this this way. We're going to put it, nope, that's not the way I want it, like this. I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to cover all the text up to this side for sure. Come on, silly thing. Maybe I will cover it up. Isn't that funny? You wrestle to glue it, and then you can't get it to cooperate. There we go. That's not much text showing. Now, I think on the back here, I'll put some kind of title or something. I'm going to go back and do that on a lot of things before I put the book in the sh shop. Now we're going to ink the rest of this, and I don't care. I'm, I'm thinking messy ink. I never, dis I, I just kind of ink however the mood strikes me. All right. Now we will have to ink the the actual the book pages too. But I want you to see how this turned out. See? Simple. It's simply a book page folded in half and glued. And then we added part of a book page here for journaling. Get my wrinkles rubbed out. And then just slop it with some slop it with some ink and we just put this really pretty picture which really just changed the whole appeal of it and then added some old doily and um yeah and it's gonna i'm gonna let it dry but it's gonna go right in here and it's gonna have this really beautiful pink flower just peeking out at you so we're going to finish inking this, and this page will be done. And I thought we were going to have enough time to do another one, but we're not. But let me tell you what the plan is. Things should, my husband's off again tomorrow, so we're working here around the house. But, um... I'm still going to try to do a video tomorrow, and I'm thinking I'm either going to, I'm getting that too dark. I don't want to get it overly dark, but you know, sometimes you just get carried away. Like I was trying to get in here inside the crease, but it wasn't that easy. So, um... I do want us to try to work on the rainbow book this week. And um, I've got to get the cover done on the other book. Now, I don't I don't know if I'm putting it on Etsy. I'm not going to put it on Etsy for free shipping. I think what I'm going to do is just price things fairly, which I do anyway. I feel like mine's fair for the time I put on them. There's a lot of hours that go on to making um, the journals, you guys, and and time and money. I mean, you know, I would give them away if I could afford to. <laughs> I'll just tell you that. I'd give them away if I could afford to. Uh, it's not about the money, but I've got to, you know, I've got to at least break even and make a little bit of a profit. My son-in-law said that I do not sell them high enough. Well, my goal is not to go out there and just rip everybody off. 
either. And I told him that. <laughs> I said, I, I want it to be affordable. And I know my regular books go for, um, my little golden books go for 85 and my specialty books that are not golden basically go for 98. And the reason is because there's a whole lot more work in those compared to the other. So now I've got this ink and I'm going to stick that right there for now and let you see it's wanting to curl because we don't have you know, but I'm going to bring it up and let you see how it looks. And I did slaver it, lav, lav, lather it with ink. I'm going to flip through a few pages since we got a few minutes. Just kind of give you a reminder of some of the, there's my doilies. I love them. Those are in my Etsy shop. Um, I haven't gotten any new ones in because we've been so busy with the bathroom, but I'm going to, don't forget that I'm going to. So we just have all kinds of cute little kids right here. I like the way we did this floating pocket in the middle. It's fun. Here's another bird page. I love the birds. Now, these are in my shop. They're digital, and they're in my shop as well. This was the fun one, you know, the one where we had the hidden houses. It's kind of the adult Where's Waldo. <laughs> Here's the fairy page, which I thought was precious. This is one of my doilies, and it's in the shop in Etsy also. This is just a super, super fun book. This is my doily that's in the shop also, the basket. Then we have a little bird. Yeah. So, I am going to let you go, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you had fun today um, collaging with me. It's my very favorite thing to do. I think it's everybody's at this point. But, um, yeah. Lots of butterflies, flowers, birds, children, and so forth. So, I will let you go, and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't. We really need the help so we can get to our next giveaway. See you later. Bye.